Manga Wido. I'm Kosuke Toyama, an employee of Toyama Group, a small construction company run by my father. We build new buildings for construction companies and undertake remodeling projects under direct contracts with our clients. The company has been running smoothly with no major problems so far. How's everything going? Morosa-san! Things are going well! This is Morosa-san, who has been taking care of my father since he was young. He's the president of Morosa Corporation, and he often gives us commissions. I have a property that we're discussing, and if it goes on the contract, I'd like you to build it for me. Is that possible? I'm finishing up a job next month, so if it's okay with you after that, yeah, that would be great! My father was very grateful to Morota-san for giving him commissions during the recession and keeping the business afloat. I love Morota-san for his kind personality as well. I was hoping we could continue our good relations, but... I'm sorry. I need you to keep all future correspondences with my son. What happened? You don't look so well. I've actually been ill, and I'm going to be hospitalized. What? I'm thinking of handling the company over to my son. I couldn't ask you much about it, but I heard that Morota-san was diagnosed with a serious illness and will need to stay in the hospital for a long time. Both my father and I were shocked at the sudden news. Reiji Morota, Morota-san's eldest son, became the second president. I had the impression that he was a quiet person who got the job done in a concise manner. He wasn't the same type as a compassionate President Morota. But since he's the President's son, I'm sure we'll get along well. Reiji-san was visiting business partners with President Morota to take over. My name is Reiji, and I have replaced my father as President. I am still young, but I look forward to working with you. He made a good impression with his smile when he came to our office. But after a while, when Morota-san stepped down as President and was hospitalized, Reiji-san suddenly changed. What are you slacking off for? Uh, it's break time, so... How are you going to meet your deadline? Stop taking breaks and get back to work! He's never had much experience in the field before, but every time he shows up at a job site, he's always complaining about our work. Our job is long and physically demanding. We need to take breaks in order to eliminate accidents and to do a good job. Besides, we are working to meet deadlines. You're a subcontractor and you're talking back to me? Who do you think you are? What? what? I won't pay you if you don't deliver on time! I'm not like my father! Reiji was apparently dissatisfied with his father's way of doing things. After he was replaced, he started to work in his own way. Reiji seemed to think that a building contractor is superior to a craftsman and often looked down on us. You're able to make a living because we hand you the jobs, right? You should be more grateful to us! Stop giving me your opinion when you're just a subcontractor! Of course, I talked back, but Reiji threatens to quit the contract if we don't like it. Dad, I can't work with Morota anymore. Yeah, I didn't realize Reiji was that kind of person. There are many other construction contractors that will give us jobs, so why don't we cut Morota Corporation? But my father seems to have a hard time making up his mind, thinking of how former President Morota had helped him in the past. But then the incident that finally made my father lose his temper. The client of this project is a senior of mine from my college days. Don't you dare cut corner! Of course, we'll work carefully as usual. <laughs> it's due by the end of September. Make sure you get it done! S September? I'm sorry, but we can't meet that deadline. I'd like it by the end of October, please. I already told him that I could do it by the end of September. If all your craftsmen work on it, you can do it, can't you? That's impossible! This is not the only site we have. We have another remodeling project to do, so we can't have all of our craftsmen working on this one project. You're saying you're giving priority to other projects? It's not about giving priority. You're not the company we're doing business with. You're awfully cocky for a subcontractor. Anyhow, we cannot accept orders with deadlines earlier than the end of October. If you insist on the end of September, please look elsewhere. Reiji was furious when my father refused. He left as he said, enough. Was it okay saying no? I can't make the craftsman work too hard. I thought Reiji wouldn't come back anymore since he was refused, but a few days later... I couldn't find Craftsman to take on the job with the deadline being the end of September. So I'm gonna ask you to do it. Huh. As I told you before, if you're willing to make the deadline by the end of October, we will take the job. Okay, that's fine. Just get it done as soon as possible. Your company always finishes ahead of schedule, right? Do the same this time. Understood? 
He said that, but are you sure? The contract says that the work is due by the end of October. So all we had to do is do it according to the terms of the contract. Now that we got the job, let's get moving. Once the contract had been processed and the deposit was confirmed, we started work on the site the following month. Reiji came to the site every day to check on progress. You haven't even raised the roof yet? There's no way you can finish by the end of September like this! Hurry up! With all due respect, we're proceeding according to our contract with a delivery date at the end of October. I told you that's too late! Are you trying to ruin my reputation? Apparently, Reiji made a big deal to his senior, who was the owner of the house, that we'll finish it by the end of September. So you can cancel your lease at the end of September. Yeah, you can save a month's rent if you move in early, but it's outrageous that we're going to be the ones paying the price for it. Despite our misgivings, we proceeded as originally planned. My father, who was the leader... The best thing to do is to build a house that will be lived in for a long time with careful work. He says... Me and my fellow craftsmen followed my father's lead and started at our usual pace. But it seems that Reiji was getting irritated. He came to the site that day and started to lose his temper by himself. I can't believe the windows aren't even in yet! You guys must be slacking! But that's not true. As usual, no, we're moving ahead at a faster pace than usual. Reiji is making a lot of noise even though we're taking a break. I, of course, and all the craftsmen are fed up. Reiji doesn't notice us like that and heats up all by himself. Stop eating and get to work! Subcontractors don't take breaks! He kicks the craftsman who was sitting down to eat. What? What the hell are you doing? Suzuki, are you all right? Uh, my, my finger! Unbelievable! This is unacceptable! You guys, it's over. Let's go home. Kosuke, get Suzuki on board and get to the hospital. Yes! Hey! Wait! What about the construction? Hell if I know! Hey, wait! Wait! Reiji was making a fuss, but we didn't bother and left. Luckily, Suzuki's hand was only bruised, but kicking someone's hand is unforgivable. The next day, Reiji came to our office, perhaps impatient with our absence from the site. Quit bending the navel and get back to the site! How can you get angry over something like that? Both my father and I were furious at Reiji for saying such a thing without apologizing. How dare you without apology? Calm down, Kosuke. It's already too late for an apology. Huh? What are you talking? I filed a police report for assault. What? You know the craftsman who was sleeping in the car at the time? The air conditioner was on and so was the dash cam. Everything you did was recorded. No! With Suzuki's medical report on a video from the dash cam, the police accepted the damage report. When I told Reiji the receipt number, he turned blue. After that, Reiji must have gotten impatient that he couldn't handle it by himself. He forced President Morosa, who was in the hospital, to come with him and apologized. The president, who was pale from his illness, turned even paler when he heard what his son had done. I am very sorry for what my son has done. He told me it was going well, so I believed him. I am so sorry. I am sorry. Please withdraw the damage report as I am apologizing. Can you also apologize for disrespecting us as a subcontractor and verbally abusing our craftsmen? I beg your pardon? Reiji, you did that too? I was repeatedly told if you don't obey me, I'll cut the contract. Who do you think you owe your meals to? Stop! Not in front of my father! Ah. Unbelievable. Reiji, you've been putting on a facade in front of me. No, Dad. I just didn't want the subcontractors to undermine me. Undermine? What the hell is that? The Toyama Group and I support each other to run our business. It's not about who's above or below. Rather, you're the one who's inexperienced, and you're the one who needs to be taught. How can you not understand that? I felt sorry for President Morosa, who broke down crying over his son's stupidity. After that, President Morosa and Reiji dismissed. Reiji panicked, saying, Are you kidding me? But the President's will was strong. The following week, it was an old employee who came with President Morosa. I made Reiji quit. He will be the new President. He's been with me for a long time, and he understands our management policy very well. I am very sorry about Reiji. I want you to deal with him from now on. Reiji paid for Suzuki's medical treatment from his savings, and the rest was confiscated by President Morota. 
and he was evicted from his house penniless. I saw him several times sitting in the park with his shoulders slumped, as he couldn't get a job so easily. After Reiji left, we resumed construction. The new building was completed and handed over in October as planned. Apparently, Reiji Sr. from the beginning thought that the deadline by the end of September was impossible. I wasn't in any hurry. I told him that the end of October would be fine, but Reiji's was all excited saying things like, I'll do my best for my senior. In the end, it seems that Reiji was just spinning his wheels to put a good face in front of his senior. We're still doing business with Morota Corporation, which has started to turn around properly under the new president. After that, President Morota continued his treatment and his health stabilized to the point where he was able to leave the hospital. He also came to see us. I asked him about Reiji, but he said he hasn't been in touch with him since he left the hospital and he doesn't know what he's doing now. I just hope he will change himself and start over. We're going to continue our job with sincerity and to make our clients happy.